Hey, good morning, folks. How you doing? Steve here. Hey, man, I'm having a good day. This is beautiful. Hope you're having a great day, too. Doesn't matter whether I'm having one or not, but I hope you have one. Hey, uh, what I'm doing today is uh, a little bit of workflow here. So I am putting in hardy board subfloor getting ready for tile. But before we do that, we'd actually have a heating system, the uh, Schluter Dietra heat system that'll go on top of this and then tile on top of that. So this is the first step. Uh, we have the subfloor already in as far as the three-quarter hardwood or three-quarter three-quarter plywood and now I'm going back and I'm putting this in. I'm wearing it by myself today on a Saturday. A uh, beautiful, beautiful fall day. Just, you know, everything is just absolutely fantastic. Let me kind of show you behind me here. Leaves, beautiful tree, sunlight. Man, th these are days when I just absolutely love contracting. All right, so this is the setup that I've got. Plastic saw horses, a couple of two by fours, really easy setup. I took my sacrificial strips and I screwed them down to the 2x4 so I basically have a fairly stable platform. I'm doing all my cutting on here with my one corded uh, circular saw. It's a Ryobi that is permanently set up with a diamond bit uh, masonry blade and this is exactly what I use it for. When I'm done I'll blow it out. So uh, once I've got this piece cut and I get upstairs to install it, I have several pieces already down. I'll show you the system up there, what I'm doing in the bathroom. As I'm coming down here to get ready to cut these, uh, it's half inch hardy by the way, hardy board, uh, hardy backer I guess it's called, and basically just doing a series of measurements uh, because everything I am doing is a cut. I haven't installed a full sheet yet and I don't know if I will. Uh, so, you know, it is what it is. Fortunately, I'm good at measuring for the most part. And so I'm working on that lower piece right there, just a notch out for a, uh, for a uh, partition wall. And there's the idea. And that measurement there because I'm using a full 36 and a full uh, 60 inches and this is 3 by 5. All I have to do is take that notch out out. perimeter screw all the way around each piece that I put in because I'm working by myself. I prefer to be cutting and installing. I can come back and fill in the rest of the screws once I'm all cut and installed. And I don't have much more. Looks like two, two and a half sheets left. So I think we're, we're pretty good now. Next up, excuse me. Next up will be that piece right there, I believe. And I'll fill in that. And I'll fill in that. I'm not doing that room today because we have work to do under that floor yet as far as some uh, vent plumbing. <clears throat> hey folks, i um, drilling for a toilet flange and so I've got everything laid out and ready to go here. Just wanted to let you know what I was doing. So I have racked up in this uh, hammer drill, which I do not need on hammer, four and one half inch spider hole saw right there and that should do the job just fine. And we'll set our toilet flange down onto the concrete board so we don't have so much of a difference in thickness or height and then that will not affect our wax ring so much for the toilet seal. So I'm down to two fillers, filler, filler, and then that room will be later. So it's measured, cut, fit, and then at that point I can go down and I can screw all of this in. After I get it screwed in, I have to hit all of the screw heads with basically a putty knife, make sure that the screws are actually set in, 
that they're uh, countersunk. And that also scrapes off all of the debris, and then I'll do a quick back. Giving me just a line quickly to reference, so I'm fairly geometric in my installation. <clears throat> okay, all done, all screwed down, all screwed down, all the way through. At the moment, I could think I could be a Batman character, Two Face. Err, I can't smile. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hey, <laughs> whatever, right? It's a long day. Actually, it's not a long day at all. I think I can put this one in the books as far as what I need to do. Now, I do have one more thing to do before I go. I'm going to grab, find a putty knife or my flat bar, and I'm going to go through with each and, every, each and every screw head. I'm going to hit it with that, make sure it's either flush or countersunk. Then I'll vacuum that, and I will be done. Then I can go downstairs, pick up, and then think about a burger somewhere. Now, what do I mean when I'm going to kind of scuff the floor? Well, ideally, I would like a putty knife, but right now I don't have a putty knife, but I do have my very thin flat bar. You know, you've seen these things before. Okay, so that cleans off any debris at the top, so it makes, uh, it makes the hole flush. And those three are just fine. I don't hear any screw heads. That right there, not a big deal, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna sink that a little further. And that one certainly needs to be sunk. So that's what I mean by you can hear metal or if your screw actually stops. And what you want to do is and there we go. That's the idea just to make sure that there's nothing going to be in the way of heating uh, the membrane, the heating system, thin set tile, anything like that. This will be just a nice continuous surface. Thanks. Hey folks, update on this bathroom with the uh, heat system that I'm putting in. So we have uh, certainly, let me flip this around. As you can certainly see, uh, taping is underway. I think there's a little bit more to do here before it gets sanded, but everything is looking pretty good, pretty good. And there's the uh, weedy system right there, and that's the weedy shower. And we have a weedy base with a curb, small curb. Okay, so what I'm doing, down here is I am just tonight because I only have an hour or so I am just fitting all of the membrane the membrane came in looks like two by three sheets maybe and so I just basically cut this to fit laid this all out and spin around and this is all that's getting heated we will have to figure out the thickness difference here uh, because we, we end up with the threshold in a different tile anyway so we have to do something there for thickness and here, we're going to get the same tile that will go all the way through this room into their uh, laundry room. And so, uh, rather than ordering membrane there, we're going to try and make up the difference with something else, whether it's quarter-inch hardy or, or something, we don't know. If necessary, we will get membrane for that. So, tonight was just about fitting, so I now have all my pieces fit. I have them laid out where they're going to want to go. We will pull them up tomorrow as necessary, we'll thin set, and we'll set them right back down. So that's the plan for tomorrow, is just to thin set all of this membrane in, let it set overnight, and then we'll be back in the morning the following day, so tonight's Friday night, that'll be Saturday morning, thin set, and then Sunday morning we'll be back after this is all set up and ready to go, then we will snake the thermostat wire down, or actually it's the cold lead, that's the thermostat wire, we'll uh, snake cold lead down, and we will also snake the... Uh, the temperature sensors, there are two of them, so you know, we've got to snake all that down. For that, we will simply take out some drywall down here. There's actually a panel right there that we can take out, feed everything down through, and that's where we'll come out. And then we have to do our heat run, figure out exactly where we want that all to go. Once that is set, then it's a matter of getting a uh, flat coat on top where we'll just use the flat side of the trowel. That way we end up with a nice, smooth, even surface where we can do tile layout, snap lines, do whatever we need to do. Good times, good times. Hey, thanks a lot. I'll see you in the next part of this video when we're doing something. Okay. Good morning. Okay, so we have thin set this thing down, so there's no real change from last night. So everything is now thin set down, all the way through. Evidence thin set right there. Looking good, and I didn't feel really it was an issue, but since we had the tile here, I went ahead and set the tile down to weight the seams down, although we had no memory in the material, so there was no rolling or anything like that. They came as flat sheets, which was really nice. I've dealt with the rolls before, and it does have a memory, so you have to lay it out and let it set for a while before it uh, kind of gets rid of that memory, but even then I weigh it down.
All right, well, I just noticed that I want to make a couple of spacers for over there before that thin set release, and it might already have been set up, but we'll see. All right, so next is the heat system. Hey folks, Steve here. How you doing? Just with a quick voiceover. Uh, I was unable to actually film the installation of the heating element. Uh, I had Kyle working with me that day. He's one of the two guys that I work with. He's he's the guy running the trial moment here, or at the moment. And uh, he was interested in learning how to do this. Uh, it's not overly complicated, but he wanted me to run him through it, and so we did. And I just did not have time to film while we were installing all that. But you can see it just it worked out really well. We used the 3-2 stud pattern, and it just worked out great. So uh, here I'm looking at all the thermostat wires that will be hooked up after the towel goes in. We did all of the correct tests twice according to the instructions. You see where the hot lead transitions to the cold in the wall, and then you see the temperature sensors, which will, uh, that tape will get taken up before he actually trowels that all in. So here the flat coat is done on the top, and that'll allow us to snap lines and lay out tile and have a nice flat surface. But we were really happy with this install, and we're about ready to uh, clean up and go home and have a hamburger, I guess. Okay, continuing with the voiceover, this is a few weeks later, I guess, yeah, two weeks later, and uh, of course a lot of this has now been installed. We still have a lot of painting to do, uh, the shower doors, of course, you see the shower here. Uh, the uh, customers actually wanted this design, they designed it themselves and had us install it this way, so, you know, that's where you get these design elements from. Uh, so interesting choices on their part, very cool. Okay, continuing on, uh, there's that thermostat all installed and tested and programmed ready to go. Over here we uh, had a transition where the laundry room there is unheated, but we had to maintain the floor thickness. We were able to do that easily. Cool little kind of corner sink there. Looking back along the bathroom, you can see the vanities installed. We're waiting on countertops. They've been back ordered now. There's one of those mirrors that lights up and actually defogs itself. Here's that walk-in closet that we had the thickness difference with the tile. That worked out really well, and we were really happy with this install. I believe this is 100% installed since it's all loaded up. So, really happy with this install, with everything that's gone on. We're about 85% done at this point, and we're looking forward to getting done, but the uh, there's been a delay on the countertop, and we're waiting on glass for the shower. Other than that, everything else will be taken care of over the next week or so. Hey, thanks for sticking with me, folks. If you would, please like and subscribe, and may leave a comment or two. You all have a good day. Take care. Bye-bye.